food may influence cancer growth. Love asparagus? Then you might not want to hear this. A new study looking at mice with an aggressive form of breast cancer found that tumors struggled when the nutrient asparagine was missing from their diets. Asparagine is found in asparagus, poultry, seafood, and many other foods. It is an amino acid, a key building block of protein. Cambridge scientists found that when mice were given a low asparagine diet or asparagine blocking drugs, tumor growth struggled in the mice. In the future, cancer therapies could be improved by modifying a patient's diet or by using drugs that change the way tumor cells can access nutrients. The findings still need to be confirmed, so in the meantime, enjoy that asparagus. Stay healthy. Tattoos could make you sick. Thinking about getting some ink? Might want to think again. A new study finds tattoo ink may leave microscopic particles that can circulate in the immune system and end up in the lymph nodes. Scientists examined deceased individuals with tattoos and deceased individuals without tattoos using X-ray fluorescence to identify ink particles. They also used Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy to detect biomolecular changes in the surrounding tissue. Researchers found elevated levels of metals, including aluminum, chromium, iron, nickel, and copper in the lymph nodes and skin in some of the tattooed subjects. The study concluded contamination could lead to chronic enlargement of the lymph nodes and long-term exposure to toxic compounds. The scientists say the next step will be to study what particular health effects ink particles may cause in the human body. Malaria vaccine could lead to general cure for cancer. Scientists researching a vaccine against malaria in pregnant women may have accidentally discovered an effective weapon against cancer. Scientists from the University of Copenhagen and the University of British Columbia have identified that the carbohydrate the malaria parasite attaches itself to in the placenta of a pregnant woman is identical to a carbohydrate present in cancer cells. Scientists have created the protein that the malaria parasite uses to attach to the placenta in a laboratory and have added a toxin. The combination of the malaria protein and toxin finds cancer cells, is absorbed, then the toxin is released inside, causing the cancer cells to die. Research groups from the two universities have tested thousands of samples from brain tumors to leukemias and have found that the malaria protein is able to attack more than 90% of all types of tumors. The drug was tested on mice implanted with three types of human tumors, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, prostate cancer, and metastatic bone cancer. The mice that were given doses of protein and toxin showed far higher survival rates than the untreated mice. Researchers are now working towards being able to conduct human trials. They say the earliest possible time frame would be in four years. MIT designs smart tattoo that can control your phone. A group of PhD students from MIT Media Lab in collaboration with Microsoft Research have developed a smart tattoo that can not only remotely control your gadgets, but is also quite fashionable too. One version of the smart tattoo has an input function using capacitive touch sensing. The gold leaf functions as electrodes and is attached to a touch controller that filters all raw data. Once the tattoo is applied onto the skin, the user can swipe or click on the tattoo as a trackpad. Another version of the smart tattoo uses skin as a display. A layer of thermochromic ink is added to the tattoo, which changes color when exposed to high temperatures. A third version contains an NFC chip that connects to a coil made of gold leaf, which allows users to exchange data via near-field communication. Researchers say the tattoos can be designed into any pattern and can even include LED lights. The materials needed to construct this technology are highly accessible, which means the total cost of making one of these tattoos is less than $5.